Let's welcome back to Morning Live, Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. How are you? Good, good morning. I am awesome. Good. As are you, always. Oh, 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 oh stop. <laughs> okay, keep going. Stop the morning, Diva. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I was in Burlington on uh, Sunday at Joe Brent getting the in-laws vaccinated. And boy, the uh, clinic there, that's a well-oiled machine. Canada leading the world uh, with the pace of vaccinations and Burlington on the leading edge of that. It is awesome. Yeah, I was at Joe Brent as well. That's where I got my first vaccination. And uh, we have, we're, we're closing in on 90% of 80 plus. Actually, anyone in the sort of 60 plus is in the high 80s, 90s of first vaccination. So it's terrific. Our public health unit, our clinics, our residents, thank you for getting the shot, whatever you could get, the first that was available to you. It's, uh, it's going to help us to get back to reopening, seeing each other, hugging each other again. I'm uh, looking forward to that and just thank you so much to everybody. Yeah, and that of course starts on Friday with step one. Uh, and we had a story this week, uh, Burlington's gonna be one big patio <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the patio extensions. What do we need to know? We, uh, our staff are uh, way ahead of the game on this. They are out uh, blocking off lanes of traffic and sidewalks. Those barricades are already up in anticipation of uh, 12.01 Friday. And uh, restaurants are, are, you know, building the patios, getting their cells ready as we speak. Our staff have expedited permits. So it's all hands on deck to make sure that we are ready to go three days early uh, as the province um, gave us a nice little weekend gift there. Yeah, so tables two meters apart, four to a table, unless uh, they're from the same household. Right, yep. yeah. You'll be able to find me there on one of them this week, weather permitting. Yeah. Right. Looking okay. Forward to it. Well, we got the forecast coming up. Uh, now, um, how is uh, city services impacted, or what changes will we see with the reopening? A lot of things will start to open on Saturday. So our sports fields, which were closed by provincial order, are now able to be open. Not for game play. That's really important to point out, but for uh, skills and drills, as they call it. Uh, so our fields are open, of course our golf course has been open for a while. Some of our pools were working really hard to get them open a couple days early. Uh, they were scheduled to, our outdoor pools were scheduled to open on the 14th, but our staff uh, have gone above and beyond to try and get that uh, taken care of for the weekend. So stay tuned on that. We're ready to open uh, City Hall uh, to limited services on Monday and people will be able to be booking their summer camp. So, you know, full steam ahead. Brighter okay. days ahead. Yes. You had uh, sent a letter to the federal government regarding the National Day of Mourning or getting a National Day of Mourning for victims of residential schools. Have you had any response? We haven't yet, but I will certainly be following up with our local members of Parliament. We have great relationships with our three MPs who serve Burlington, uh, Karina Gould, Pam DeMoff, and Adam Vancouverden, and I know that they care very deeply about this issue as well and will bring our voice to uh, to the Prime Minister. We need a national day of mourning. Uh, we also have asked for, in the resolution, a, a search of all former residential schools to see if there are uh, graves we don't yet know about. Burlington City Council has also committed ourselves to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission calls to action that relate to municipalities, and we will be kicking that off with a workshop, an educational workshop for senior leadership and members of Burlington City Council. So we're, we're taking the steps that we can uh, but I am so deeply grateful to the members of our Indigenous community here in Burlington and Halton for reaching out to me, giving advice, asking for this. This is this is not my words. It's really uh, what they have asked for, and we are we are trying to do our best to honor that. Yeah. Now flags have been lowered, but there's a flag raising in Burlington today. Actually, no. In light of the tragic uh, killing of the Assal family in London, Ontario, we are keeping our flags down. Okay. in honor of that, in honor and support for our Muslim community here in Burlington, which have been horribly shaken across the country mm -hmm. by this targeted act of hate. Uh, so we will keep them down today. Uh, normally, we would, uh, we would actually be lowering them on June 1st to honor city employees who have passed in the previous year. So we will keep them down also on Thursday in honor of that. And so uh, stay tuned for Friday for... Uh, for a, a formal announcement of two flag raisings, the Mississaugas of the Credit, of course, for National Indigenous History Month and Pride Month. Okay, and we've run out of time, but I know you have plans for more rainbow crosswalks too, so we'll get to that next week. Absolutely. Good to see you. Six. Thanks. Good to see you, Bob.